Hi there! Today I talk to you about thermal conductivity and thermal resistance. Every material, just as it has a specific color and a specific weight, has a specific thermal conductivity. Okay, what exactly is thermal conductivity? Um, let's have a look at heat transfer. Conduction is one fraction of heat transfer. And a good example for conduction is a hot kettle. Ouch! Convection is another fraction of heat transfer, and that is heat moving with air. And a good example for this is a hairdryer. Radiation, the last fraction, is heat transferred by electromagnetic waves. And it's me two weeks from now. Thermal conductivity can be measured with an apparatus like this, where a specimen is put between plates of a different temperature. In simplified terms, the heat as it is traveling through the specimen is recorded, and if the distance and the temperature differential are known, it is possible to calculate the thermal conductivity from this, which is given in watt per meter kelvin. To give you an idea of magnitude, vacuum insulation panels start at about 0.004 watt per meter kelvin. Typical insulation is about 10 times of that 0.04, and softwood timber is 3 times that again, so 30 times that of vacuum insulation panels. The value for reinforced concrete is about 18 times higher than softwood and the value for aluminium about 1800 times. Thermal conductivity is the property of a material and the symbols used are either lowercase lambda or lowercase k, but the unit is always watt per meter kelvin and the brackets are essential. Thermal resistance, in contrast, is the property of a layer and the symbol used is uppercase R and the unit is square meter times Kelvin or Watt. R is calculated by putting the layer thickness over the thermal conductivity of the material. Let's do an example. Suppose we have a 40 cm thick softwood timber slab, so the 40 cm is the distance that goes on top of the bar, and then the thermal conductivity of 0.12 watt per meter k below, and as we are dividing the meter k go on top of the bar again, that gives us a resistance of 3.333 square meter times kelvin over watt. The same layer in aluminium has still the same thickness, but the thermal conductivity is markedly different, and so as a result, only 0.002 square meter times Kelvin over watt. And these are R values, which stands for thermal resistance, and that's all you need to know about thermal conductivity and thermal resistance. In another video, I talk about surface resistance and U value calculation. Thanks for watching.